Last week, we looked at the Power BI mobile apps. This week, we're gonna take a look at the five things you need to do to configure a mobile application with Intune. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and welcome to Guy in the Cube. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how we can manage the Power BI mobile applications from Microsoft Intune. And what does it mean to be managed? It really means that we can enforce policies on the application to ensure that data is secure and that the people that are using it don't inadvertently do something that we don't want it to do from an enterprise organization perspective. We're going to look at this from the perspective of an iPhone, but the same thing would hold true for an Android device or a Windows 10 device. So let's jump over to the computer and we'll look at how to configure this within the Intune portal. And then once that's configured, we'll jump over to the phone and see what that looks like. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to capture the URL for the application. So we need the URL to iTunes for iOS devices, and it would be Google Play for Android. And the way we can do that is first you can go up to Products and you can go to Power BI Mobile, and it's going to have links to those items. For the iOS, we actually need the link from iTunes directly because this isn't the link to the actual app itself. So within iTunes, we can go in and do Power BI. And if we scroll down, what we can do here is on the get, we can just go ahead and click on copy link. And let's stick that in a notepad file for later use. OK, so now that we've got our URL, let's jump over to the Office 365 admin portal for our tenant. This is making the assumption that you already have an Intune license and you already have Intune configured and that the device is enrolled with Intune already. And one thing we can do here, because it's a mix of the mobile management as well as Intune, so if we go to mobile management, you'll see that my iPhone is already enrolled. So we can see there that the device is there. I've got the APN certificates for iOS device for uh, Apple Push. And then under admin over on the left nav, you'll see Intune. So let's go ahead and click on that. One thing to point out in Intune that I had to stumble on a little bit is if you go to Admin and go to Mobile Device Management, you want to make sure that the Mobile Device Management Authority shows that it's set to Microsoft Intune and Office 365 and that you have that green check. If you don't have that green check, you'll have to click on the link there and it'll enable it. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is configure a mobile application management policy. So we can do that by going to Policy over on the left Go to Configuration Policies. You'll notice that I already have two here. I have one for Android and one for iOS. The way you can create this is by clicking on Add, go under Software, and you want to choose Mobile Application Management for either Android or iOS. And when you click on Create Policy, it'll add that to your list. Let me go and remove that one. Within this policy, if I go and edit it, this is where you can configure all of the restrictions that you want to impose on the given application. And we wanted to make sure that we have a PIN for the application. And so under Access here, you'll see Require Simple PIN for Access. We want to change that to Yes. By default, it's No. And then go ahead and save your policy. And we've got our policy already configured. So the next thing we want to do is go to Apps, and then click on Apps. And in here, we don't see any apps listed, but we want to go ahead and add an app. This will launch another application. Go ahead and log in. Okay, now's where the selection is going to be very specific. If you're configuring the iOS app, you want to go to this drop down and choose Manage iOS App from the App Store. If you're using the Android app or the Windows app, you want to choose External Link. So for this case, we're going to do Manage iOS App from the App Store. We're going to specify the URL that we got from iTunes. All right, we're going to hit Next. Down here, the category is for the actual company portal app. So we're going to choose business, and we'll say, yeah, display this as a featured app. And we'll give it an icon. Next. Mobile device type, uh, we can choose. If you just want the iPhone app, you can choose that. Or iPad, we'll say any. All right, and then we'll upload it. Then we can go and close, and we'll see the app listed here. You may have to refresh the page, so let me go to Overview, and we'll go back to App. All right, we see the app listed there. Next, what we want to do is deploy the application. Right now, you can see it says Deployed No. And the deployment is where you'll actually match it up with a policy. So 
So let's go to Manage Deployment. We'll just say all of our users. For your organization, you may have this more defined. For mine, it's pretty straightforward. So we'll say that. We'll hit Next. Deployment Action. For this dropdown, in order for it to show up in the company portal, you need to say Available Install. We'll do Next. And we're going to choose the app policy. So this is the one we had. If you have different policies, you can choose which policy you want to bind to the application. You can do that based on groups. We'll hit Next. We don't have any VPN. And the mobile app configuration policy is none. So let's go ahead and finish. All right, we are deployed now. All right, so we've got the application deployed. It's configured within Intune. So let's go ahead and check out the phone and see what that looks like. On the phone, we should already have the Company Portal app installed, so we want to go and open that. All right, and in the portal, you'll see that we already have the device there, and if we go to Company Apps, we should see Power BI listed. We're going to select that and install. And what this will do is actually trigger a push notification to the phone to go in and install the app. And we'll say install. And once it's installed, we can go and run the app. And you'll see here that it says managed by your company and it wants you to enter a PIN. And then from there, it's just using the app like you normally would. And there are other restrictions that you can impose from the policy perspective. All right, so we went through and created the application and then we installed it on our phone and required a pin for that application. So we looked at five things on how to do that. First, we had to get the URL from the App Store and or the Power BI site. Second, we had to create the mobile application management policy. Then we had to create the app and deploy that. Within, the org within our organization, within Intune. And then we had to go to the phone itself, the device, and actually install it through the company portal. I'd love to hear your feedback. Do you have any questions about this? Did you try to set this up and you're missing something? It's not really working? I know I struggle personally with the dropdown in the app where I had to choose the actual iOS piece. That took me a while because I was just choosing external link. It was driving me nuts. So if you do have any other questions, leave that in the comments below. And also, be sure to check out the comments and see what other people are saying. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item where I either look at a feature, how something works, or how to troubleshoot something, and share that out with you. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you as well. And really, this is about you. I want to help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.